of all of the exciting sounds, that might be the one that excites me the most. Welcome back. You're live with Express as we delve cross over the final frontier. Gold and platinum, pretty rare, we think, on our planet. They might just be pretty rare in the universe. And now, um, it seems for a second time we have, um, it's been revealed by scientists that we may know exactly where most of the gold that we pres that we, we find so precious on our planet has come from. To explain it in a way that is far more scientific, our resident space expert, Dr. Daniel Kahnema. Not too scientific. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I love the way you dumb it down for us. But, uh, but this is pretty cool. Um, when you say words like neutron star and golden platinum, cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, yeah. yeah, so very recently, I mean, as, as recently as 2017, we witnessed the first neutron star merger. Um, and so these two very, very dense stars, uh, about the mass of our sun, but uh, spiraling around each other, but sort of compressed into about 10 or 12 kilometers across. That's close. Very, very close. Very, very, very dense. Is it gravity then, that's getting them? Yes. Yeah, something and then they, um, <laughs> they collide and they cause this, ma it's called a kilonova, um, and it's a massive explosion. <laughs> that that sound that I made is exactly how it sounds, yeah? yeah? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and um, so when, when we witnessed this, basically what we managed to learn from that was where most of the heavy elements on our periodic table come from. And they come from these neutron star mergers. So. Uh, the gold that's, these aren't gold, but you know, if, if the, the gold in your jewelry and things came from a neutron star merger, it had to, it's the only place that these things can form. Wow. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very, very cool. And, and listen very, to Golden Monkey, knowledge. you're special, you're special, <laughs> okay. Um, but <laughs> but uh, um, now, so now basically what, the, what scientists have done, have shown that uh, some percentage of it uh, has come from a very, like an individual event which sure. happened just before the formation of our solar system. I mean, That's incredible. Like an infinite universe with many of these individual events, it is rare. That's beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, no, no, so it's, so it's very, very rare. And then, and yeah, so basically we, we've, we can, we've now, we think <laughs> that about uh, 80, million light, 80 million years before our solar system formed, about a thousand light years away, one of these neutron star, star mergers went off. And that's quite, kind of seeded the, the formation of our solar system and all of the heavy elements in it. How often do these neutron uh, star collisions take place? So uh, with the, the LIGO detector running at the moment, um, they're predicting uh, sort of one a month that we can detect. So, okay. so, so that's got quite a large sphere of, of observation, um, distant galaxies and things. So. Uh, in our in our galaxy, not that frequently. Okay. Um, but but we're observing these. All relative, more. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're looking on a very. So we're very creating scale. new solar systems all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> Once a month, there is a new little. Solar I mean, system I mean, in our, in our Milky yeah. Way, a star forms every year. So and then oh. with that star, obviously, there's a sort of plane of dust and, and rock around it, which. Uh, is this going to make gold more valuable? <laughs> well, I mean. We, <laughs> So we can't make more of it. Um, so the, all the gold we have is kind of all the gold we have. And, and if one of those things did happen again nearby, uh, we certainly wouldn't be able to get the gold. Very, <laughs> from very, the very, very not easy. yet. It's not, it's not going to rain down. On that, so. Raining gold. You know, this gets me very excited because, I mean, given in the world, the time we're living now and the way technology is evolving for you guys to be able to have the equipment and everything to be able to observe all of this, what, what are some of the things that you've learned from the first, well, the 2017 that they've observed from 2017? Yeah. 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 yeah, so I mean, that, that was a, an incredibly exciting event. And, yeah. and we, like in that event, we observed uh, two Earths worth of gold sort of just forming in that. Yeah. And then, as I said, like we, we understood where most of the heavy elements came from mm. just from observing that. We could see all of these elements forming. Um, we also learned things like that gra the gravitational waves that came from that, that massive event, sort of shook space and time, also move at the speed of light. Um, and you know, that, that was theor theory before. So And now it's confirmed. Yeah, now it's confirmed. <laughs> Einstein, well done, uh, buddy. Yeah, First, he... Well done, buddy, you were right. Um, and this is why you can now do an asteroid mining degree at some <laughs> universities in the States. Um, Doc, ah, you never disappoint, buddy. Thank you so much. That was really, really interesting. Any tech stories you are tracking online, let us know on our social media plays, uh, our, uh, platforms and help us cross into the final frontier.